in today session we are going to use how can we use multiple in ssrs for this uh, you can see here we have uh, multiple salesperson customers region so what we need to do here to build a multi value family report in ssrs we need to create a data source like this and a data set and we need a, a parameter here so what we are doing here uh, we are going to add a data set like ds sales order okay in this section we are using a shared data source here which is, which will connect us from our database now what we are doing here we are going to just pull this query into our development environment okay right now we are not using any parameter or here you can see here okay just click okay now we have a data set called ds sales order so what we are going to do here we are going to insert a table into our development area now you can see here we are going to set the data set name okay now just drag the order number order date customer number and add two more columns salesperson ID and region ID now preview the report now you can see here we have all the data now what we are going to do here I am change the date format ok now preview again now what we need to do here we need to add a data set for the salesperson if we want to add filter on a salesperson id called ds salesperson ok you will see data source now i am going to my database i have a table like salesperson id you can see here just copy and paste ok now you can see the files ok now we have the data set salesperson we need to add a parameter in our report to this we are going to put as a salesperson id and the prompt should be salesperson name ok now it is a text and now we are not going to use allow multiple value here so first of all we are going to do salesperson salesperson id as a value field name as a label field the default value from as a salesperson id ok now just preview the report now you can see here we, all, we have all the salesperson ok but what is happening here we are not filtered our data based on the parameter to do this we are going to open our sales order data set in the property we are just going to put a bare condition where 
सेल्स पर्सन आईडी इक्वल टू व्हाट इज द नेम ऑफ द पैरामीटर दैट इज सेल्स पर्सन आईडी ओके नाउ यू कैन सी हियर वी हैव ऑल द फील्ड्स इन ऑप्शंस पैरामीटर वी आर असाइनिंग द वैल्यू फ्रॉम द पैरामीटर एंड क्लिक ऑन ओके बटन नाउ we are going to preview preview of the report now you can see here we have a view the report and bill smith if there is something they have for roy bill now you can see we are going to pull the data from the report based on the parameter so what we need to do here we are using as a single parameter if we want to add multiple multi value parameters in our data then what we need to do so in this case go to the data set in ds sales order property okay now just do in instead of equal this is the one thing what we are going to do here okay okay now we have the we have changed the query and instead of equal we are using in in our main data set now you can see here wow yeah this this is the one thing we have done but one thing is very important we are going to the parameters section in parameter section go to the report parameter parameter property and allow multiple values this is the section okay now what we are going to do here now you can see here there is a multiple parameter all the parameters we can choose yeah yeah this is very simple thing how can we deploy how we can use multiple parameters in our report okay i hope so you are going to enjoy this video here so in this section what we did here okay now you can see here by default they all the parameters are selected if i want to see only jan or june and roji gray data then select both of them and click on view button so in this section you can see here all the data from this user i hope you are enjoyed my video thank you